Yep, that's me. I'm JP. And that's Zazu. My dream airplane that I built from the ground up to be the ultimate tool for adventure. Kind of like my very own mystery machine. And now, well, I'm going to fly it around the world. Everybody's here. Matt's just showed up. We're ready. We're on a race to get to Oshkosh, Wisconsin in eight days to attend the world's largest day show. The catch? We're in Johannesburg, South Africa. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's kind of far from Wisconsin, and that's a really small plane. William's on his way to Barbados with those shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out, the Atlantic Ocean is really big. Wisconsin is 8,000 miles away. Zazu has a standard range of 900 miles. Our longest flight will be 2,600 miles. So, we're gonna need more fuel. It's a gorgeous morning for it. Nice thick air. Yes, yeah, nice and cool, eh? yeah. Isn't that sweet to have a 210 Just next to us, that. JP? Exactly. <laughs> We modified each plane by taking the back seats out and building a set of custom fuel tanks that extend our flight time up to 20 hours if needed. If the winds are good, that'll be enough. If not... Wilson, where are you? <laughs> this Happy. is it. Feels like an adventure. Feels real. A nice cool morning, which we really need because Lens area is very high um, in altitude, so we got some thick air to work with. What are you doing with those muffins? This takeoff is about as dangerous as it gets. We each have 1,000 pounds of highly flammable fuel on board, 600 of which is right behind our seats. Being the only tail dragger in the group means that I really need to be on my A game. Because if things go wrong, they're gonna go really wrong. This is as real as it gets. Okay, Tom, Zulu Uniform Sierra Hotel and Whiskey and Company ready for takeoff and uh... With your permission, please be good to take off your own timing. Sierra Hotel, a whiskey and company copy. Surface wind calm, clear to take off. Report zone outbound, left hand, climb to 5,500 feet. Thank you, cleared for take off in own timing. We'll report zone outbound next, initially at 5,500 feet. Sierra Hotel, whiskey and company. Oh, that's a beautiful sunrise. Sketch. We're on our way to Luanda, Angola, which should take us about 10 hours. The weather looks good, and with the takeoff behind us, it's time to settle in for the cruise. Snack time. Oh yeah, I still eat the ballad. Half of the Pringles. When? Yesterday. Oh. Warm those up a bit. Would you like an iced tea? I would love an iced tea. Dude, where are the cup holders? Yeah, I gotta work on that. You know what food I'm gonna miss the most? Rusks. Yeah. Uh -huh. They're pretty good. Fuck. 
What, what are you struggling with? It didn't want to go in. Because it was getting soggy as I was pushing it in. So it seems uh, we have our first weak link, which is uh, William. He needs to take a leak. I'll uh, update you guys on how this is going to go. Good luck, William. Don't get stage fright. Just think about it. You're in the field with the sheep. Good. <laughs> and then push it up the air vent, yeah, and just get up the airplane. I don't think you guys will struggle with it. That's a pretty small hole, James. I'm impressed. <laughs> you know. See, I can't use any of this on video now. <laughs> After hearing all of that, I'm going to hold off as long as I can. <laughs> <laughs> Linda and I sitting here drinking coffee and eating fricadella. This is what we live for, right? It's pretty epic that we get to do this and that through some sort of weird odyssey we've all found ourselves. Thank you all. I do actually get quite emotional when I think about it. And here, of course, we have the benefit, me and Matt, of listening to Afrikaner Boer Lee while we go. It's just so emotional. Shit, Mike, we've had some adventures, man. Yeah, man, it's been amazing. It really has been a journey. While Will is taking a I want to update you guys. We're about to hit the Namibian border and then cross over into Angola. That's James. He's playing music over the radio the whole time. We're having the time of our lives because it's so rare to get to do an international flight over these distances as a flight of three. So the chit chat and everything is just fantastic. How was that? A close call. I almost ran out of. Yeah, I ran out. I had to stop prematurely. Yeah. Yeah. But it, no spillage. My technique works, eh? Yeah. It's a bit of a uh -oh. turn around, but it's it's a good, it's I, a good I don't move. see how else you do it. It's actually quite cool because this this Namibian borderline has uh, got three fences. Uh, look at that, John. If we turn 90 degrees left right now and kept going for 45 minutes, that's where I was born. At least Zazu got to fly over Namibia for a bit, you know. This is your captain speaking. Welcome to Angola. And we have five hours and one minute of flying left. Never thought I'd be this relieved to be in Angola. I'm relieved as well. Guys, that was a good effort. It's been a very long day of flying. Also, it has been the most comfortable flight because I've packed quite poorly. A few lessons learned today, but other than that, the airplane ran beautifully and I've been sleeping much for weeks now, but uh, last night was also not what I had hoped it would be. 
William and I are both wearing Otavi sunglasses. Otavi is my own company that I started out of a need for eyewear that is made to last, looks good, and is extremely comfortable to wear in all circumstances, but especially while flying with a headset. These are the real deal. We used real Italian acetate, five barrel hinges, and the Zeiss lenses are specifically designed to avoid color shift when flying behind digital flight instruments. If you use code ZAZU on our website, you'll get $35 off any pair of Otavis. We also have a live expedition page on the Otavi website where you can track all my future flights. Yeah, I, I definitely see what you mean now. Like, I've only done one leg and already your, your enthusiasm for everything is so dependent on sleep. We're over proper rainforest right now. So we went from desert to rainforest in like close to a 10 hour flight. We're pretty good. Yeah, the last place I would have worn this was uh, Kiribati. This is something pretty cool that we're doing right now. Zulu uniform is here, Hotel Whiskey. Good afternoon, go ahead. Hello, we are flight of three light aircraft inbound, 1,500 feet from the southeast. We are joining a landing, please. Zulu uniform is here, Hotel Whiskey. Report 7 knot miles inbound. Hanwen use 231011. doing the same old stuff. <laughs> Fixing aeroplanes. It never ends, eh? It never ends, ever since I was a young chicken. <laughs> Things are going great. We got fuel, uh, checked the engine, everything's good. They did overfill me. I asked for 65 liters a side in the back and they ended up filling them up. So I am way, I have way more fuel than I wanted and at a great expense because it's $4 a liter. But in general, actually feeling really good. It was, uh, it was a long day's flying, but the airplane performed beautiful, and I'm so glad to be here. And things are just, yeah, we're having a good old adventure. We had originally planned to only spend one night in Luanda, but we don't have our required permissions yet for our flight to Ghana, and so we have no choice but to spend a full day here. The truth is, it's kind of a welcome delay. We're all in need of a bit of rest, and we're able to use this time to flight plan, prepare, and explore a bit of Luanda. You can't take James anywhere. Look at the puppy. We 
never saw James again. It's got my credit card. It's your got pants. my passport. Where's your pen? I've got your bag. Where's your pen? Hey? You don't want to get naked in your mic down because this shit comes. <laughs> And now we have to walk the streets of Luanda with a naked man. <laughs> I'm just watching out for the girls. As they come running, I'm going to make a beat out. <laughs> we'll fight them off, sir. <laughs> These are my underpants, which are busy drying.